स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया second part of greens function what we are going to do is basically construct greens function okay uh, construct one sec uh, green function yeah uh, for a ball so as i told you yes as i told you that uh, green function can no, i mean you can of course we saw that for a given domain let's say omega is a sufficiently smooth domain you can actually uh, i mean construct a green you can actually get a you know representation of a, i mean form formula for u of x right but the problem is you cannot the problem is to construct the green function for such a domain yeah um, and the most for most domains it's not possible yes yeah? but for some particular domain it is and the one such domain is a ball so definition let's we start with the finding the greens function so essentially we have to find that character function if you remember yes how to find the character function and for that we are going to define some new concepts so definition definition okay so let if x is in rn minus 0 yes so x is in uh, x is non zero vector uh then the dual dual of x is given by is given by okay uh, so basically we say x has a dual if x um, i mean and the dual will look like this x delta is x by mod x square so if you uh, i mean most of you understood what this means yeah it's called uh, the, the dual of x is given by x delta which is by definition x by x so essentially what we are doing is we are basically taking the inversion of x with respect to the ball okay so this mapping the map the map x going to x delta okay is called called the inversion inversion through the unit ball okay you see i will make all of this clear why we suddenly started with something like this and what exactly does it mean so let's uh, understand more in details what it means see essentially let's say this is your r2 right huh? let's do this r2 and that's your ball huh? i'm uh, sorry my draw and okay uh yeah please forgive my art it is not very good yes uh, so let's say this is this is your unit this case and now what happens is let's say i'm starting out with the x here yeah on the point on the boundary on the boundary so x is on the del b let's say 0 1 okay then then mod x square is what it is 1 right and hence and therefore hence x delta will be x by mod x square here yeah? which is x so basically uh, if you reflect x with respect to this unit ball the boundary with respect to the boundary of the unit ball yeah that in a the same place right it does not change in direction or anything i mean nothing changes so x and x delta are same in this case right so the inversion of x so basically you are inverting x you understand so think of this as a mirror kind of a mirror and you are putting a point here you will put another you will get another point you know, on the other side of the mirror some, some something like this yeah so but if you are taking a point on the mirror itself so on the boundary x is equals to x delta now for example let's say x you are taking it to be uh, something like um, i don't know maybe let's take 1 um, 1 yeah 1 1 so definitely that's not a point on the boundary and it is outside uh, the ball let's say 1 1 yeah so um, as, as you can see x delta will be half half okay that um, i mean inside the ball right half half okay so you see a point here if you take so this is your x and then x delta will be inside here yeah? okay so um, something like this what it says is 
if x is on the boundary x is on the boundary then x is equals to x tilde if x is here okay then x tilde is inside the ball uh, I mean in the disc inside in the disc yes so x is there so basically the reflection you can think of or vice versa if x is here then x tilde is going to be outside the ball yeah something like this so basically we are inverting the point with respect to the boundary i think this is clear now yeah so if it is not clear so um, what i suggest you to do is please take two three points and look at what exactly does it mean clear yeah? okay now the thing is you remember what we are trying to do we are trying to um, compute so basically we are trying to uh, we are trying to let's write down our aim yeah we are trying to trying to uh, construct construct green's function green's function for a ball here yeah. we are trying to construct green's function for a ball okay yeah. this is the this is our motive i mean this is our aim yeah that's our aim and to do that what we are going to do we are going to first of all construct a character function yeah so construct a character function so for that we are going to fix so fix you remember i want to fix a x in the domain so in this case the domain is b01 yeah once i fix this thing and the character function and define the character function character function for this fixed x c x of y as laplacian of c x okay is zero in b zero one and uh, c x of y equals to this is the fundamental solution c of y minus x okay this c and this c is different yeah this is the fundamental solution this capital c this is the small c on the boundary of the domain okay this is what we are taking so basically for a fixed x on the uh, ball you take any any x on the ball and you define a character function which is uh, satisfies laplacian of x is 0 on the ball and x of y is capital uh, uh, i mean the fundamental solution at y minus x okay now you see this is well defined because uh, y here is always on the boundary right in this case in this case y is always on the boundary x is in the center of the um, sorry x is on the ball yeah y is on the boundary so essentially y minus x is, is defined so p of y minus x is defined here yeah so y cannot be equal to x and hence it is defined so um, and the green's function and once you get this character function the and the green's function green's function what is it what is the green's function will be will be g of xy is the fundamental solution at y minus x minus c x of y right yes yeah. so that's your green's function now how do i find this character function that's the question yes yeah? okay so the, what is the idea the idea the idea is to invert the singularity invert the singularity okay let me tell you what i mean by this c essentially i want a function which is say i want to find c of x see once i find c of x i already know what my fundamental solution is just put it there and it's done right so all i need to do is to find the character function now i know that the character function what does it do it it is actually the fundamental solution yeah the value of the fundamental solution at y minus x please understand this thing what is y y is in this case y is on the boundary x is a point on the ball clear inside the ball inside the open disk uh, open set b huh? now here this is defined no issues if you define let's say if you define c of x to be the fundamental solution of course it is zero laplacian of c is zero but for all x not equals to y okay is this clear so you see here there is not a problem because y is always on the boundary and x is in the interior of the ball okay so y is never is equals to x but here if you are putting c of x to be so if you are so let's say if i am taking c of x to be our fundamental solution of y minus x okay then uh, it uh, for some y okay 
we we have we have y equals to x right of course we have the x is any fixed point in b01 there is a some y where in the ball in the ball there is some y where this has to be same and when this is same this actually blows up right yeah so this is not a good option in the ball so basically what we want to do we want to find a function which is the fundamental solution the value of the fundamental solution at y minus x on the d boundary but c of x is zero in the interior of the ball you do understand what i'm saying okay so let's find uh, let's try to construct such a thing so you see uh, that is why we want to invert the singularity because there is a singularity definitely there is a singularity if i want to do something like this yeah at x equals to y so let's just sing, uh, invert the singularity huh. so what we are going to do is for for x in b01 clear uh, we have we have x tilde definitely not in b01 so outside b01 right yeah it is uh, in the complement yeah so um, so for now let's just assume n is greater than equal 3 yeah uh, this is just an assumption i mean you can do it for n equals to 2 also no problem yeah so assume see i mean you have to do it uh, in two different sets but for n equals to 3 i'm doing n equals to 2 is exactly the same thing nothing changes okay so uh, assume this now you see why going to tell me something c of think about it y minus x tilde is harmonic okay for y not equals to x tilde yes if this is true why this is true because you see if i am taking y which is not equals to x tilde so c is harmonic everywhere in rng right except at y equals to x tilde so that is why it is harmonic as a function of y now if that happens the thus one can say that y going to mod x power 2 minus n the fundamental solution of y minus x is harmonic for y not equals to x tilde same thing see here essentially this is a function of y so if i multiply it by mod x to the power 2 minus n does not matter i mean the same kind of idea is basically a constant as far as uh, this is concerned okay see for a fixed x i am doing right i have fixed the x so basically this is a constant i'm just multiplying it by a constant so harmonic function remains harmonic it's not a problem yes and therefore and hence and hence hence you see if i am writing phx of y okay define phx of y to be uh, the fundamental solution of mod x times y minus sorry this is x tilde x tilde okay so this is harmonic in b01 is this clear why it is harmonic see y going to this is harmonic for y not equals to x tilde yes where is our y in our case we are choosing y from the ball yeah x is definitely never in the ball it's outside the ball so basically this is always harmonic in this b01 yeah uh, so uh, if i define c x of y to be the fundamental solution of mod x times y minus x tilde then that is harmonic in b01 yeah now you may say that uh, what's the point of putting this mod x to the power 2 minus 1 this is c of y minus x is actually harmonic in b01 you are right there but the problem is you see if you do that you understand what i'm saying what is the point of this multiplying by mod x to the power 2 minus n if i don't do that then what happens is this is true that capital p of y minus x tilde will be harmonic in b01 but i also have to have that phi x of y has to be phi of y minus x on the boundary okay so this i want to um, calculate yeah this i need to have yes so for that what i am going to do is this uh, if y is in del b01 okay so that is why i am uh, multiplying with this particular uh, mod pro x to the power 2 minus 1 so let's say if y is on the boundary of the ball and x not equals to 0 i am choosing x not equals to 0 okay then mod x square uh, mod 
y minus x tilde square. Yeah, let's calculate this thing. I will show you what is happening here. Mod y square minus 2 x dot y by um, mod x square plus. Uh, so I will just break it up. Huh? Uh, plus 1 by mod x square. Okay. So uh, it essentially is C mod y y is on the boundary so mod y square is 1 so essentially this is mod x square minus 2 x dot y plus 1 correct so which is mod x minus y square clear so essentially what is happening here is thus let me write it thus mod x mod y minus x tilde power minus n minus 2 this is equals to mod x minus y to the power minus n minus 2 yeah so and therefore what is happening is phi x of y this is equals to the fundamental solution of y minus x okay for y on the boundary of 0 1 is this clear See, I want, I want my C of X, I want my C of, where is it? Yeah, I want my C X of Y hmm, to be the fundamental solution at Y minus X. It should, it should be equal to the value of the fundamental solution at Y minus X. Yeah, if I'm choosing only this thing, not with mod X to the power 2 minus, not with this. If I'm choosing only C of Y minus X, that is never going to be C of Y minus X tilde, right, on the boundary. Yeah, so uh, for x in uh, b01, yeah, it cannot happen. So for that, I am modifying this thing. I am multiplying it by mod x over 2 minus 1. Once I do this, then for any y on the boundary, you can show that mod x to the mod x times mod y minus x tilde whole power this is equal to mod x minus y whole to the power n minus 2. For n greater than 2, this is the fundamental solution, right? So phx of y, this is your phx, right? So phx of y is basically capital phi, the fundamental solution at y minus x. So, this is what? This is our phi x y is defined by the fundamental solution of mod x y minus x tilde, which is essentially this. So, that is why phi x of y, I wrote it like this, clear? Okay. So, uh, consequently, this is happening. So, let me write down that, therefore, the Green's function, the Green's function. The Green's function. How do you write Green's function? So, g of x y will be defined as the fundamental solution of y minus x minus the fundamental solution of mod x y minus x tilde okay this is for x y in b01 such that x not equals to y is this clear huh? you see uh, the fundamental solution minus c y that is our this range function and C x of y is essentially our, uh, I mean, this is the fundamental solution with respect to fundamental solution, it is written like this, yeah. So, the character function is uh, in terms of fundamental solution. So, G of x y is this, okay. So, now assume, let, let, I mean, I'm just doing a particular thing. You see, once you find this Green's function, you know how to write U of x, yeah. So, that is always there. So, uh, let us uh, solve a small problem using this thing, yeah. So, let um, Laplacian of u is equals to 0 uh, in the ball with center at 0 and radius 1, okay. So, basically, this is ball with center at 0 and radius 1, radius 1. So, please remember, if I am not saying uh, generally in this course whenever I am saying B01 you just think of it as a ball with center 0 at radius 1 until I say otherwise okay and U is G yes uh, on the boundary of the ball okay so let's say this is given so I am not taking S uh, let's just start with Laplacian equals to 0 yeah, harmonic okay? so therefore you use the representation formula if you use the representation formula you can see that U of X will look like minus integral over del b01 del b01 g of y 
del g del gamma of uh, x comma y d s of y clear okay so u of x will look like this this is where is it coming from you remember in the last lecture we talked about the representation formula representation formula clear in the representation formula there is another part but that part is zero because of laplacian u equals to zero okay that, that part is not there essentially it is uh boils down to the boundary okay now for this let's just solve this problem and see if we can do this yeah so basically you see if i want to solve this problem if i just calculate this thing on the boundary then i'm done right i just put it in the g and i'm done okay so let's just do that g of here I'll, I'll just show you how to do this thing. So, g of y i, you remember this is basically what is it? It is g y. So, the derivative is with respect to y. Okay, I mean, whatever. I don't know what express. I mean, let's just call it like this. Yeah? This is just a notation, whatever notation you want to write it. Yeah? It's not a problem. So, essentially, this is del g del gamma is this one, right? So, uh, what is del y? with respect to c basically i am taking g of a is a function of two variable x and y i am just taking the derivative with respect to y is this clear okay and that uh, y is y1 y2 yn so basically i just have to take the partial derivatives and after that put it together okay so let's just put that out. so basically if i just write it down then del g del gamma is summation it will look like this del g del y i gamma i okay i equals to 1 to n it will look like this clear yeah? okay so i just have to calculate del g del y i first so that is what g y i this is this is i hope all of you guys know this notation here yes? g y y is del i mean this is just a notation this is just a notation okay uh, this one is just a notation that's what i'm saying so this is equals to the fundamental solution with respect to y minus x minus capital phi of mod y uh, y minus x tilde okay and uh, this is uh, with respect to y i maybe i can write it here y i okay okay now once i do this thing let's calculate this one capital phi y i mod y y minus x tilde okay do i really need to calculate you guys can do it yourself right i mean let's just write it down one by n alpha n c you know what phi is right you just calculate the derivative with respect to y i that's all yeah this is x i minus y i by mod x minus y whole power n yeah i mean you guys already know how to do this it's just a you write c and take the derivative with respect to y i that's all yeah and and also sorry 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 what am i doing it should be phi of y minus a okay the first expression now and you also can do the same thing here huh? uh, mod y y minus x tilde huh? what exactly is this thing again if you calculate again i'm not doing this thing yeah i'm just uh, writing it down what exactly happening so you have to check this part check this part yeah minus one by alpha and y i mod x square minus x i by mod x minus y whole power n okay so see please make let me be very clear about it you already know what c is yes just put what c is on this variable and after that take the derivative with respect to y i yeah i am absolutely certain that all of you guys can check this part so please do that yes so once you do that what do I need to do once I do that then yeah so u of x will look like this right huh? so I just have to put it there you see del g del gamma is essentially this thing right and gamma 1 i of y I already know I will just put it there and I will get what my del g del gamma is so let's say therefore del g del gamma at the point x y what does it look like it will look like summation as I wrote it here i equals to 1 to n okay y i y i uh, g y i at the point x y now you are you, i don't think you are wondering why y i is there what is gamma 
You see, this is del G, del Y I at gamma I. What is gamma I? Gamma is the unit outward normal and that's a ball. So basically this is Y by mod Y, right? So and mod Y is 1 here. So essentially that is not there. So gamma is Y. So gamma I is Y I, right? So that is why it's Y I. So this is the unit outward normal at the point Y in the ball, okay? That's the unit outward normal. Now, unit ball, unit ball, yeah? So um, Y I is equals to gamma Y the unit uh, outward normal and component component on the boundary boundary clear so that is uh, this now if this happens you see uh, you just put it there yeah uh, minus 1 by n alpha n 1 by x minus y whole power n okay summation i equals to 1 to n okay uh, yi 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 minus xi minus yi mod x square plus xi okay I, i'm not, i'm not doing anything i'm just calculating this i'm you know, I'm just putting it together. Del y i of this thing, yeah, is del y i of this thing. I'm just writing it, and then minus of this particular thing, yeah, because phi y i of y minus x is this. So minus of this particular thing. If you just put it together, summation with the summation, it will look like this, no? Okay. So um, once I have this thing, calculate this thing. Once you calculate it, what it's going to come out is this alpha n. 1 minus mod x square by mod x minus y whole power n. Okay? Okay? So, please remember, where is y? Where is in this? Yeah? You can't choose y from anywhere and you can... So, because you see here, y is on the boundary of the ball. We want y from the boundary of the ball. Okay? I don't care what y does outside. So basically, all of this calculation is for y on the boundary of the ball. Okay. Once I do this thing, uh, what is our represent? Therefore, from representation formula, from representation formula, one has one has u of x will look like one minus mod x square by n alpha n okay integral del b 0 1 okay g of y by x minus y whole power n ds y clear okay now this is on a ball with center 0 and radius 1 yeah you can of course do it for a ball with center 0 and radius r. so on b0r you can do that yes that's not a problem so uh, in in b0r in b0r okay you can write it like this see this is on b01 this is on b01 in b01 right so if i ask you to do it on a ball with radius r of course you can do it you just change u to u tilde which is so basically, you just replace u, u to u tilde, which is u of r x. So you see, in a ball with center 0 and radius 1, this is the formula. So in a ball with center 0 and radius r, you just have to scale u accordingly, right? So that is x is getting scaled to r of x. That's all. Yeah. And uh, similarly, g will get uh, b, I mean, you have to do it like this, g of r x. Yes. Once you do this thing, what do you get? You get u of x will look like um, r square minus mod x square r by x yeah? by n alpha n r integral over del b0 r. I mean there is nothing special. I mean it's just I am writing like this. Yeah? x minus y whole power n um, ds y. Okay. This and you see why I suddenly did it for B0 R because I wanted to write this K of XY, okay? So this, this K of XY given by R square minus mod X square 
by n alpha n r okay and 1 by mod x minus y whole power n yeah so x is in b01 b0 r and y is on the boundary okay uh, this this particular thing is called the poiseau kernel okay for the ball b0 r clear so what i meant is this see this is the representation formula on for b01 if you want to do it for b0 r you just scale it you just scale u and g and you have what is uh, u of x in this is this is u tilde of x yeah for the ball the formula will look like this so it's not u tilde basically u of x for the ball uh, if the solution is u of x then that is given by u of x to be this yeah and see here the main idea of writing is this uh, writing this is the following i just want to write this r square minus mod x square by n alpha and r times 1 by 1 minus x whole power n this is a kernel yeah this is called a kernel uh, this is a special kind of function it's a singular function actually yeah this is the kernel and this kernel is called the Poiseau kernel yeah Poiseau kernel for the ball b01 this is very important we will look at uh, why this is important later yeah well, in an assignment i will show you uh, when you can see that what is so important about this Poiseau kernel okay there are a lot of things which you can do with this thing so that is why so uh, i'm just ending up with this uh, small theorem which i'm not going to prove because this proof is exactly the proof of what we did earlier yeah uh, for that convolution thing so the existence resistance the result in ball in ball so let g is in uh, continuous function del b 0 r and u be given by uh let's say i don't know um, let me call it three maybe huh? three is given by three okay if that is the case then number number a u is in c infinity you can show that this is infinitely differentiable on b0 r is this clear okay see initially what we did if you remember that we did the convolution of uh, the fundamental solution with f and showed that this is c2 yeah given f is c2 so here what we are saying is if you are given g which is continuous on del b0 r and u is given by 3 yeah then uh, u is infinitely differentiable laplacian of u is equals to 0 because we started with laplacian of u equals to 0 see we started by solving this problem laplacian u equals to 0 u equals to g okay so uh, what it, the theorem says is you can show that u is infinitely differentiable laplacian of u is 0 in b0 r and c uh, you can show that limit how is the boundary condition satisfied this is what yeah limit x tends to x naught okay x naught and um, x is in b0 r okay u of x is equals to g of x naught see u is such that on the boundary it is g what does that mean it means that u of x you see inside i know what u does right so i'm saying that at e as u tends to x naught g uh, so basically what will happen is us will tends towards g of x naught that, that is how it is satisfied okay for each point x naught on the boundary of the ball with radius r okay so the proof is exactly the same what we did uh, so we are not going to do that thing but uh, i think it is more or less clear so uh, let us summarize what we did here once you find a green's function once you find a green's function so basically you have to find a character function yeah to find the character function in this case of ball what we did is we basically uh, look for the inversion right we look for the inversion once we say here oh, where is it uh, yeah we look for the inversion of a point x tilde why do we look for inversion because there is a singularity at x equals to y i just don't want that singularity so we look for an inversion and made the function harmonic 
why did we multiply mod x to the power 2 minus n because we had to match our uh, character function on the boundary that is why we multiplied by mod x to the power 2 minus n yeah let me write it we multiplied multiplied by mod x to the power 2 minus n here here because Px has to match capital P of y minus x on the boundary right yeah that is why we did this now once we did this yes uh, we know that these are harmonic and uh, uh, we showed that uh, this, this is the reason why it matches on the boundary okay and then you find uh, write down the Green's function you already know what P of x is there is nothing else uh, you use the representation formula write it down and calculate what g is put it together and uh, yes you get this representation formula this is u of x so the value uh, this is the uh, value of u uh, at any point x yeah so the representation formula now uh, do you think there is another uh, formula for you no because you see the point is u is unique right so whatever the value of u at that point this is the unique value okay because of uh, uniqueness theorem for this problem okay so and uh, on b0 what, what you can do is you can just uh, you know scale the domain and the functions appropriately and you get a solution like this please remember this is important this is called a poso kernel this kernel is called poso see g nothing special is there g is given to you and we just incorporated g this is important yeah and this is called a poso kernel okay and uh, what did you get the u which you get from here that u is c infinity Laplacian of u is satisfies this 0 and boundary condition is satisfied in this way. So basically you take any point on the boundary yeah that is getting approached by u. So basically like this limit u extends to x naught u of x goes to g of x naught yeah. So with this we are going to end this.